Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today I got a game I picked off of Dota Buff. It's a Legend 5 Liege Commander laning against a Divine 1 Drow Ranger, and the Drow ends up carrying the game. You can see by the score line, Drow goes 18, 4, and 20, 4, 20, and Legion Commander goes 4 and 11. So, obviously a pretty strong stomp on the side of the Drow Ranger, and they lean against each other. So what I'm going to be doing in today's video is kind of breaking down the lane and a little bit of the mid game, and saying, why does this Drow outperform a Legion? Why is Drow Divine? one and why is legion legend 5 right and getting into it all right before we get into the main part of the video i do want to let you guys know that i'm not only posting videos here on youtube i also frequently post videos on the website if you don't know what i'm talking about almost every single day i'm posting a new video to the game league website we're going to teach you guys in depth about how to get to the next level so if you want to become absolutely broken and really take your game to the next level I'm going to be able to help you because sometimes the guides on YouTube, there's either not enough of them, they're not specific, or they're just tier lists, which I know you guys love, but at the end of the day, the Game League website is going to help you get to the next level. So click the link down below and sign up. But all right, th this first clip, I just want to show you guys this real quick, is so crazy. I've never seen this before. The Drow carry decides to block mid for the mid laner, which is extremely based. Now, the reason why I don't think this is good is it forces you to use TP, which costs quite a bit of mana, right? Uh, the TP obviously costs gold if you end up needing to go back to base at some point. It's questionable, but honestly, it's based. Like, let's say you have an Ember Spirit against Huskar, this is going to save his lane, right? Uh, or if you're just playing, you know, maybe your ally is a ranged hero against a melee hero, this will help him harass a lot. So it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know how good it is, but it's definitely a concept that's reasonable and has logic. So pretty damn cool. So right off the bat, it's actually reasonably apparent to me why the Legion Commander is maybe stuck at Legend. Or, I mean, maybe Legion's actually increasing him more fast. I don't exactly know. <laughs> but okay, right off the bat, I kind of like what Legion does. She can test the first melee creep, and all this is fine because Drow's damage is lower than Legion's, and so you can try to get denies in this lane, especially early on when your wind can trade with the Witch Doctor, and Drow, she can harass you a little, but as long as you go for the CS or the deny at the last second, you'll be generally okay. From there, like, he goes a little crazy. I don't love this. The Wind Ranger probably should be trading better and hitting Witch Doctor to make this more of a, a reasonable play, but he's going in between Witch Doctor and Drow. I'm not a fan of that. This is going to cause you to take damage, especially especially as you gain MMR, as he does get hit by both of the opponents. But okay, the lane is pushing in, things are looking fine, he's 1-1, one one, about to be, okay, almost 2-1. But what he doesn't do at any point in this lane is pull creep aggro, at least in the first minute. Okay? In the first minute, he doesn't pull any creep aggro, and that's weird, because he's looking to contest the denies. I will admit, last hitting and the ability to last hit well will skyrocket you in MMR. If you can last hit significantly better than your opponent, you will gain MMR. I just want to show you these two creeps. Like just off this, I can tell that this guy isn't going to be high MMR. And I know that sounds tough, but look, he just swings late. Like right here is when you're supposed to hit. Right here, right? And he just, I don't know, doesn't hit it for some reason. He's here and he's putting his body on the line because you're legion against Drow. Drow is going to use frost arrows to harass you. The only reason you, you should step up is to, to CS. And then for this one, swings late. That's okay. Drow messed up the CS. So to be honest, that one was probably all right. The first one was weird. He did mess up a bit there. That one was fine. But throughout this entire sequence, he doesn't pull any creep aggro. And yes, I like that he's going for denies. But for instance, this deny is psychotic. He has a double wave shoving into him. The, the Wind Ranger is not not in a position to help him and so he's going to take significant damage from drow because he didn't aggro the wave and he stepped up with a double wave pushing into him so he takes basically 100 damage maybe let's say 70 maybe he would have taken one auto attack anyway he took 70 damage completely unnecessarily right and and that's a big big deal and yeah from there it's just like he is contesting the cs which is good once again he's just not that good at it and now this q usage makes no sense it just makes no sense right yes it's good harass but it didn't really Okay, it's not the end of the world. It secures the range creep, but the reason why it's bad is you are running head first into two level two heroes. Now, how can you prevent this? Well, number one, you can look and say, oh, they're level two. I shouldn't run into them. But also if the wave is pushing into you, okay? If you're playing safe lane or off lane, if the wave is pushing into you hard, they will likely hit level two first, especially when you're off lane, okay? I'm not gonna explain why right now, but especially when you're off lane, if the lane is pushing in, they will likely hit level two first. Okay, when that happens, you should not play aggressive because now he gets stunned into a Maledict. Does he die? Yeah, he's dead. And now he just dies, right? And 
they almost get the return kill, but Wind is going to take a ton of damage as well. Oh, Drow is going to kill him as well. And boom, right? All of a sudden, you've died. And why? He ran into two heroes to cast Q. Obviously, the Q did a lot of damage, but it's of course not worth it. Oh my god, I hate this build so much. I hate this build so much. I hate Soul Ring. Dude, anytime offlaners versus Soul Ring, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. What is the purpose? You can't sustain it. And I know you might be saying, oh, but speed, but speed, armor is good on Legion. Okay, fine, buy Ring of Protection. But the strength is good on Legion, fine, buy the gauntlets. Why in the world would you ever spend, it is so much gold, 400 gold, almost a full bracer or magic wand or almost boots to get the ability to gain extra mana when you aren't even close to out of mana. Okay, and in a lot of lanes you can buy stick. Now to be fair, this is a horrible stick lane. Not horrible, but it's not great. So I don't actually want him to have stick in this lane, but oh, you need boots against Drow. So if you're gonna try to kill her, you can actually stay on top of her. And if you're trying to just avoid her and avoid damage, you take less damage because you have higher movement speed. You can run away from the autos faster. This item makes no sense at all. And so it's just a complete grief, right? Like, oh man. And his last inning, one thing I'll say about this player is I don't think he's incredible at CSing, as I was mentioning. Like, he would get walloped by anyone very, very high, uh, especially if he was playing a hero with low base damage. But he's doing okay, right? He's got 11 CS. That's not terrible for minute three. It is all right. You know, to be fair, it's easy to last hit with Legion, but I'm not going to try to take too much away from the guy. He is doing well. This salve isn't him. Can you? Wait, what? How did he get Drow salve? <laughs> Yeah, and from there, he just doesn't know what creep aggro is. It's weird. It's like, he's good at last hitting, and he has the concept down of, like, contesting denies and contesting CS, and he's pretty good at it, but he just never pulls creep aggro. Almost ever. Like, he's just taking so much damage for almost no reason, and, oh, use the soul ring, soul ring. Oh, you can't, because it doesn't do anything. Imagine if he had boots here. He could probably chase down the drow, and it's all snowball effect, right? Dota is all snowball effect. Because of the fact that he doesn't have good items, he's now out of HP, he had hit a worse level than Drow, Drow's putting consistent and constant harass in a lane where she can, and if this guy wants to be high skilled, it's not a matter of actually pressuring the Drow. If Legion wants to be the better player here, it's not a matter of pressuring Drow, even though it's probably possible in this lane, you would have to hit level 3, take level 2 overwhelming odds, shackle the Drow, and then run up to her, especially if Witch Doctor is pulling. However, until then, in my opinion, it's mostly about avoiding damage from the Drow, right? Hitting that level 3 without taking too much damage. This Drow kind of feeds here, so that's uh, not a great play from Drow. Good identification from Legion. But yeah, it's just, as I said, snowball effect, guys. Hopefully you can see that. All right, and this next play from Legion Commander is somewhat creative. He actually helps out with the Necro kill here in the, in the river, which is not bad. I don't mind that. The guy was overextending, and he's pretty farmed on Necro, so that's actually a very nice kill for the Timber Saw. I, I actually, I, I don't mind him, and I actually like him rotating over. He ends up going mid after that, which is pretty crazy because the Creep Wave's in a fine position, right? Like, I'm pretty sure he can pull Creep Aggro and be fine here. But, uh, yeah, once again, he kind of doesn't do that. Also, Lotus here, that's something to keep in mind. Drow also should be getting that. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know exactly why he goes mid. I think it's because maybe he just saw Timber going base and he thought it would be safe. It's not great because you can't actually lean against Necrophos. Uh, I don't think you're going to kill the guy either. <laughs> what? How does this guy die? Oh my gosh, he doesn't have magic? Why does he have 800 max health on Necro at minute 7? With no raindrops and no magic wand? Because <laughs> people are going to say, Oh, Speed, you're so stupid. You're so stu Of course Necro dies here. Why in the world would I expect the guy to have no good items? Why is he rushing Radiance? I mean, I know why, because people think it's good, but... <laughs> he doesn't have a point in W, no one, no raindrops. Unbelievable. Unbe all right, the greatest play of all time from Legion. I'm sorry, guys. You should, I, I, I was wrong. All right, from there, he's got his dual timing, which means, you know, you can look for a kill. It's not too easy, uh, considering he's reasonably poor, but he's got phase boots. And what he decides to do is pop the soul ring for the first time. Maybe it isn't the first time, but close to the first time in jungle, which is not... Oh, horrendous with the timber going top. Yeah, I would like to see him try to kill the drow. This is I like the idea here It's not bad. I would not TP. I'd just push in the lane. He's really not farming He's kind of given up on farming for some reason. Okay, he pushes in top Yeah, I mean the, the game's hard, right? He doesn't have any real sustain items and so it's difficult to sustain There's no bracer. There's no stick, right? There's just no sustain items, which is sometimes okay on Legion. It's it's actually one of the heroes where you can get away with this because your E heals you and your W heals you. It's a little bit rough against Drow because you can't really heal off of her, right? 
by manning him with the E is he's getting chased here. Oh, Chad mana? Okay, not a bad play, honestly. Not bad. It almost worked. Like, that was really close to working, actually. That was pretty good. The only thing I'll say if I want to get really, really technical, and I think some of you guys will appreciate this because, you know, Dota's an intricate game where you can min-max. If you think that Gust is on cooldown or not skilled, because of the fact that Witch Doctor's stun is a really long uh, cast time, and he probably will not expect you to turn, right? Like, this Witch Doctor isn't thinking to himself, like, oh, this Legion Commander's gonna turn and try to kill me. You actually sneak in an auto attack before the duel, and the reason why is he leads with overwhelming odds. And you used to have to do that because you couldn't use it during duel, or you would have to click press the attack. You'd either have to press the attack or over overwhelming odds, and then duel. This is no longer the case, right? Now, what you can do is you can uh, duel and then cast your Q. To some extent, eh, it's a five second speed duration, so he actually gets the attack speed during the entirety of the duel, but he could have snuck in a single auto attack, right? He could have hit the guy once by using attack move, and then if Witch Doctor lives on one HP, then it actually was the difference. And funny enough, if he did it, it would have won him the duel. And that's what's crazy about Dota guys, right? Like literally if he optimizes one little thing, he wins the duel and probably lives because he would have been able to disengage faster and he would have gotten Presti attack coming out of the duel, which definitely would have allowed him, helped him to disengage, right? So yeah, it would have been able to live, prevent Drow from getting a kill. Uh, and then that's just a cool little thing you can do in Dota. From there, he decides to push out top, which my only problem with what he does is he doesn't push it out fast. So at this point in the game, I would just be looking to push it out and then either farm a neutral camp or cut the next wave, like take the next wave and bring it to a small camp. Basically, I'm looking to optimize my farm. I'm not like looking to shut down the drow. Also, I want to make the drow show. Like I don't want to just like let her jungle for free and never show her hero. I want her to show to clear the wave so she has less of an option to TP, right? Because she'd have to TP in vision. So it makes it more obvious. And also, so she just has to respond to tower pressure, because if she doesn't respond, then the cart will just do a lot of damage to the tower. So personally, I would like to see him just kind of queue in the wave. Dry ends up showing up and he duels her, which I don't mind. Honestly, like even the fact that he doesn't kill her is fine, because Dry is not a hero that heals. And so she's just kind of stuck at this low HP pool for a pretty extended period of time. Um, so I actually really like that duel. I don't know if it was with the intention of just harassing him, but it's actually pretty high skill in my opinion. Once again, I would just shove in this wave. I don't like that he's so AFK. I don't know what he's expecting to have happen here. It's just like you're not putting tower pressure and you're not flash farming. It just it's like very AFK as they're going to look for a kill, but the enemy team rotates in. This looks maybe OK. OK, they get the duel. Probably have to kite out here. Commits for the tiny kill is going to go down. Ends up being not great. Not a huge fan of diving towers, guys. But that one went all right. All right, and finally, to wrap up today's video, I'm going to be looking at this bottom lane play here. I just think that Legion Commander players get too caught up in running at people, and it causes them to do it in a very poor way or too frequently. So at this point in the game, you can tell that Drow is the highest MMR in the game because of the fact that she just has the highest last hits, even though she's definitely not the fastest farming hero. Right, like Legion farms reasonably fast, I would say almost as fast as Drow, if not faster. And then Timber farms fast, Necro farms fast, TA farms way faster than Drow. And so it's kind of just a matter of Drow just has a better concept of the game because Drow is also 5 1 and 5, right? This guy is being active and he still has top last hits. And so when people ask, like, how do I gain a Mamar? It's about being able to discern when I should fight and when I should farm and being able to balance them well. If you can't balance them, or you're just frankly farming poorly, like the Legion let's be real guys, was just kind of sitting in front of the wave, wasn't pushing it in, wasn't looking to amplify farm. And a lot of off lane players slash mid lane players do this because they're so focused on killing. They're so focused on setting up the next play that they just forget to hit as many creeps as possible. And it prevents them from hitting strong level timings and item timings. And but yeah, this play here, I mean, the timber gets a decent go onto the onto the tiny. But then from there, it's just like uh, the reason why I don't love the play is it's just so easy to respond to. He's not TPing from out of vision. He's running straight into them and well he clumps up with the timber the paralyzing cask from witch doctor goes absolutely crazy timber gets maledic casked he gets stuck in it as well gusted up by the drow stuck in the arena pops his blade mail very very late here as well uh it definitely would have been nice to pop it much much earlier and he ends up going down a sick shackle from wind ranger kind of saves the fight here so bless up on the wind ranger but uh that that could have been really really bad and so take better angles guys Right? Don't just run straight up to people. Unless you are certain that your bleed mill is going to get some crazy amount of value and running up to them is the right play to bait, then typically you shouldn't You shouldn't exactly do that. And so yeah, at this point, he's kind of just like running straight at people. It's, it's very predictable, very counterable. 
You know what I mean? He's just running into them. He could have easily had a blink at this point if he was more efficient in the early game. Obviously, if he played the leading stage better, he could have almost BKB at this point like but at least he should have blink like at least you should have blink at this point of the game with how much farm he was given like he didn't really get pressured top very hard right he was he was okay I, I don't mean in the early levels like he was in in the early levels but like around minute five to nine he was pretty fine and just wasn't efficient and that's gonna cause this blink to be delayed and in these fights he's just kind of running up to them guys you got to take good angles you got to catch people off guard it's not good enough to just say oh i'm the killing hero i'm gonna go kill them you have to find angles to catch people off guard to kind of read their movements and the best way to do that is honestly just with the blink dagger <laughs> best case scenario the second best way is tp'ing in tree lines as legion commander and the third best way is, is smoke plays even pre-blink you can sometimes just rap on people, but these like just, just straight up run into them plays is very, it's very 3k, no offense. But all right, same thing here. He's kind of just sitting bottom waiting for a fight to happen when in reality, he should have just ran to the top lane, farmed up top. There's a legit double wave pushing in and no one's farming it. There's a TA not farming it, Timber not farming it, Legion not farming it. Why is no one farming it? There's no one bottom right now. You don't have your blink. You could TP into the fight. It's just a sign of 3k. I'm being real guys. You got to keep the map open. You got to keep farming and players at this level just don't do it. And that's why they don't scale. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace. And that's all. But remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below and I'm out. Peace.